Hello, and welcome to Ponery's Penny Arcade in the first 30 of Dredge. This is me playing catch-up with a lot of games that I have acquired in the last couple of weeks, but real life is getting in the way, you see, because we had puppies in my house about two weeks ago. So I know I made promises about other types of content, but just... I can't even set up this, the table or the workbench for those other types of content, so it's been Penny Arcades for now. Uh, the Kickin' It Old Schools you've been seeing, they are pre-records that I've made over several days, and that w allowed me to get so far ahead on that type of content that I could have a little breathing room. But life gets in the way, right? So we have puppies, and if you want one, uh, hit me up in about six or seven weeks. <laughs> anyway, this is Dredge, and the first thing that I noticed when I loaded this game up was it reminded me a lot of the Long Dark in terms of the way it looks. But I know after seeing a couple other people play this that it is not like the Long Dark. Just some of the art style kind of is reminiscent of it to me. You are going to get a unsullied review and impressions of this. I have not even started a new game yet. So let's get started and we'll see how far we can take this. Hopefully farther than we did with uh, The Last of Us because <laughs> truth be told, I was terrible at that. Okay. We look like we've had a few drinks in our day. Also look like we sailed right into a storm. Oh great, our boat's wrecked. That's no good. Morning light fills your eyes, and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. I'm doing this with mouse and keyboard, even though I have controllers. Just felt like it. Short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Marrow. I must say, quite dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Yeah, thanks for the warning. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Oh well. I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Yeah, but my boat's worse for wear. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. Probably like what I owe you. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish, see if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Hmm. Finally... I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Okay. So, we have... Undog. Ah, right. Okay. So, let's go ahead and set off, I suppose. Great, now my dogs are really upset, right? I can move the camera left to right. I can go up or down. Okay, good to know. Oh wait, there's some fish right here. Let's just try the easy thing first. Okay. Stock high, coastal, disturbed water, start fishing. I have a pole and a peculiar engine. That sounds like something from uh, Sunless Sea, doesn't it? All right. Uh, pole, okay, pole. Ah. Alright, so it looks like it's a simple little game there. Place the fish, rotate, so we can do this to make it fit in the boat. Place it there. And let's try again. Pull, and pull. 
Another one. Okay, got that one. Pull and pull. Oh, stock is getting low. Should I fish it out or leave it? I was always taught don't overfish. Let's go over here. Okay, here's my boat. And we're going to stop right about... What's that? Disturbed water, shallow. You don't have the right equipment for this spot. Ah, okay. Oh, how about over here? This looks better. Okay. Yeah, let's fish here. Blue mackerel. Okay. We're catching a lot of blue mackerel. So far, so good. Okay. Just filling up the boat, aren't we? Definitely easier than deadliest catch. <laughs> oh, it's the last one for this area. I don't want to wipe it out. There we go. Let's leave it. Time only advances when you're moving, fishing, or taking specific actions. Okay, good to know. So, let's go over here. And then we'll stop here. Okay. Cod. Right? Oh, look at that. It's kind of an awkward shape. Got one there. Let's do it again. Oh, we screwed that one up. Oh, got one anyway. Okay. Oh, screwed that one up. Let's try it again. Got him. There. Just one more. Gotcha. Alright. Oh, I wiped it out. No. Okay, I think the town's right there. Select your lights by holding E. And then toggle with this. Uh. Oh, okay. I see how that works. Cool. So we have a radial menu. I have a horn. I have a spyglass. Okay. Oh, it's nighttime. I think we're okay. Wouldn't it be messed up if the fog stopped right here? Just boom! You crash anyway. That would suck. Okay. Uh, let's dock. Oh, I gotta hold it down. Step onto the dock to the Greater Marrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel. Yours to own. I understand that you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go up towards improving the town. Well, that seems fair. So to recap, you'll need to sell fish at the local market, paying off your debt, and in turn keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Uh, selling the fish helps the town and pays off my debt. Got it. Off you go then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. Okay, so we're going to go to the fishmonger. That guy looks rough. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. That? Yeah, I'd say that's what he is. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. Uh, what happened to the other one? He... It takes a certain types of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more, too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different, but while you still have a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. Fair enough. 
So, let's see what you got. Alright, let's start with the cod. Uh, sell. Good. Oh, I can just sell all fish by holding down the button. Yeah, let's just do that. Debt adjusted $19.90. Okay. What's my total debt, though? Doesn't say. Looks like he doesn't want to talk either. The mayor's standing outside the fishmonger store. The excellent work. I had no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here. I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? Uh, research cart. Uh, let's see. A curious looking component. Could be used to develop new equipment, but would need some investigation at a dock first. Okay, I'll take it. And yeah, we'll put that right there. One last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Very well. Oh, I have $27.57 of repayments left to go. That's not bad. He sent me a sh sold me a ship for 40 bucks? Does that sound about right? As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to work. Ha, baba. <laughs> it's like sort of Michonne thing going. Ah. Ah. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up. Mostly. She shrugs and gestures toward the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the water line, are splintered and scratched. <sighs> take a look around. Just remember the bigger equipment... The bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead. Very well. This is a weighted line for shallow water. I don't have the money. This is a simple skimmer for shallow water. Um, 75 bucks. No, we're going to hold off on that because I need improvements, right? Oh, this needs to go not to an engine slot, clearly. What's this? Probably should have read up on that, huh? What if I put that over? No, that's a light slot. Duh. Rusty outboard. Won't get far with this. Rusty outboard. Okay, so we're not going to do that either. Trawl nets. She ain't got none. Lights. Cloudy lens. Makes a decent effort at shining through the gloom. Crack bulb. Better than a candle. Just. No, I think what we're going to do is we're going to sleep. Let's see. The boat's not damaged, right? this. No, we're, we're good. I think the ship's okay. Research. Uh, let's see. Mechanically assisted reels allow the catching of significantly larger species. That's one. This is flexible fishing pole. Allows for... Oh, look at that. So it lets me do coastal and shallow. Okay. Volcanic. Okay. Mangrove and coastal. Me. This is all the things. That is for something huge. As is that. As is that. Right. Engines. We have this engine, right? Improve. Excellent. Okay, makes a reasonable engine for those on a budget. 15 knots. And I have to unlock this to get to all these, clearly. Pots, nothing. Nets, nothing. What should we do? Should we go hydraulic rod assist? That's oceanic. I think I should just do this one. Oh, I need two of those. Weak. Maybe I should have did that one. Oh, well. Let's get some sleep. Right. And it's morning. Cool. Let's set off. Gotta go backwards, and then turn the boat, and then forwards, and then turn off the light. That was simple enough. Alright, let's go straight to Cod, because those are obviously higher dollar. Yeah? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we got us Cod. Oops, I wasn't paying attention. Another one.
Oh, I wiped it out. I wasn't paying attention. Duh. Alright. Let's be more mindful. Oh, my dog is going to be a real pain in the butt, I can tell already. That looks about right. Oh, it's low population, though. <sighs> Depleted it in one fish. Fan, whatever. That almost looks like another town. Medium. I don't have the equipment for this. Those look like flounder, too. I just noticed that the shadows are in... Like, you can see the shadows in these fish. Like, those look like... Those look like skates of some sort can't have these negative what's this it's like stuff dredge shapes of the deep you don't have the right equipment for this dang it I bet that's what that hook thing was for see I done screwed up look, that, look at the size of that what is that I don't have the rod for this either do I disturbed water no equipment Right. Oh, we're not making squat for food for money this time. There's a lot of fish here. What up? All right, these are cod. Okay. Medium. I really don't know if you can overfish a spot, so I'm trying to be sort of mindful of that. Let's just move on to the next spot. It's already 442 anyway. we got to start heading back this way. Yeah, look how fast time goes by. Holy crap. Can I pick up these things? No. Nope. I think I am going to need that equipment thing. The hook. I should have got that first. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Let's turn on the lights. Maybe we'll grab a couple of mackerel on the way in. Ooh, squids. Okay. Oh, those are easy to catch. Okay, yeah, let's do it. I can tell this mini game is going to get a lot harder. You know, like the more complicated the fish are. All right, that's good enough. The goal is not to wipe out the populations of fish, right? Exposure to fog and other things increases your panic. Oh, that's right. I have to keep my panic down. Okay, there we go. We made it. We're, it's fine. All right, let's go to the fishmonger. I've had a special order come through from a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. Tell me about the order. They asked for one gulf flounder and one great eel. Just bring them in when you have them. You need to have a rod that can handle shallow water fish in order to catch those. The shipwright should be able to sort that out for you. I guess we know what we're buying next. Sell all fish. Bam! Debt adjusted minus $20. We should almost be done with our debt. Seven forty-six. Yeah, we'll have this done by tomorrow. Okay. What do you got? What do you got? I can't have any of these things. I don't want that thing. Weighted line, simple skimmer. What's the difference? Faster fishing speed requires three hours of time. I got the money. Oh, look at that. It, um... Oh, wait, that makes it... That makes me get more fish faster. Because every time you catch a fish, it makes the time go by. I don't know if we're racing the clock, though. Like, does it matter at this point? It's hard to say. We'll go ahead and buy the good one. There we go. And return to town because we. Oh, a hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Uh. Why are you here? Uh, I've come to see. I've come to meet people. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. She's not a very friendly type, is she? Oh, with the mirrors here. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Morrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? Uh, I guess? I, I don't know where this is yet, though. I mean, this is going to become an issue. Let's 
just put that there. Mary hands you a small damp package bound in string and dipping it, dripping slightly. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Okay. Should we go now? Ooh, cabin. Map. The Morrows. I guess it's this place. So it's out and to the right. Okay. Does he need me to do that right meow? Or can we get some sleep? What do you guys think? Let's take a... Screw it. Let's go do it right meow. I mean, how bad could it be, right? This is going to be like fatal error, right? <laughs> We're about to find out. Oh, that's right. My madness is going up. Oh, no. I bet it's right there. Right? Can I just cabin map? Yeah, it's right there. Okay, we, we, we can do this. That's not even that much fog. Oh, that thing just jumped out. Peculiar engine disabled. Oh, snap. I done messed up the boat. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Did y'all see that rock? Was I just not paying attention? I need to know how bad madness is. I, I killed the engine. I'm such a moron. Well, the morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. Clearly. Uh, I hope this guy can fix my stupid engine. Come on, Doc. Doc. Is there no... There we go. Good God, man. Blackstone Isle. Uh, ruined Mansion? Okay, it's not a workshop. Go inside. You enter, taking a moment to let your eyes adjust to the dim light. What do you want to do here? Uh, pick up items. You find some horrifying creations amongst the detritus. Uh, arterial engine? The bony blades of this grotesque engine are driven by a pulsing heart. It beats in time with your own. Ooh, yes. That sounds great. Let's take it. Uh, yeah. Can I put it here? Yeah. What's this? Sign of ruin. A symbol of the deep is carved into this small talisman. It is sure to draw the attention of those attuned to it. Sign of ruin. This sounds like a bad idea. Ooh, where do I put it? Oh my god. Okay, so we put it there. Fine. Whatever. Anything else? Okay, I already took the equipment. We gonna leave. I thought I was supposed to come here and freaking. I thought I was supposed to come here. Did we not go to the right? Uh, shoot, it was the other one. Moron. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Apparently, I can't read a map. My dogs are upset too. Are we going to be chased by, like, sea creatures now? Because this could be terrible for our, our health. And we're still barely moving. Like, I think I really broke that engine. Because, you know, idiot. This better pay a lot. Like, how do you crack up your boat on your second day at work? I mean, just amateur hour. Apparently I can't fish those even though I got that shallow fishing rod. Whatever. Crap. I bet this thing is going to be no good because I took too long to get it over here. There we go. Hmm. What? A delivery. Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Ugh. This smells foul. You obviously took your sweet time getting here with this. He won't let me pay for a delivery in this state, but hmm, maybe I can give you this. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. It'll surely 
get more use out of it. I will. Pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it over to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat any time. I know how lonely it can be. There's a traitor here. Is that? No. Ah, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything with an... Uh, have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? Uh, this thing. A sign of ruin. Like, I don't want this. Can I sell it? Will you buy it? No? Like, can I... To storage. Yeah, let's do that. To storage. Let's just... I don't have a middle mouse button. I've never, ever had a middle mouse button. I don't know why they keep using the wheel. Like, I hate that. Nah, homie. I ain't got nothing for you. Because clearly... I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, well in that case, we're going to go do some fishing on the way back. Because we done screwed up that quest. Can I fish here? Yes, I can. Disturbed water. Here we go. Looks like we're getting some flounders. Yup. Ooh, these are big fish. Alright. Screw I'm taking all of them. Daddy needs money. Cool. And I wiped out the fish population. Alright. By the time we get back home, it's going to be late with this broken engine. I guess we're going to get to figure out how much it costs to repair, though. So, that's a thing. Fine. See? You see? They do run out. Not cool. There is something off in the distance over there. We should really go check that out once we have an engine that's worth a crap. Oh, I can dock on the side? Yeah, we should totally do that. Alright, fishmonger. Uh, yes? Yes? Hmm. Just leave whatever you have here. I'll keep the order on ice until it's all ready to go. Oh, man. I gotta find an eel, though. Done. And sure. Regular business. Sell all fish. Some fish prefer deeper water while others stick to the shallows. If you're going to look for something specific, it's worth... It's important to know what depth you're working with. Good to know. The mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood, with a spring in his step. Did I pay off my debt? Fantastic news. Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Morrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger services. He might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. You're welcome. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. Good. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for your equipment, even superior hulls. Good to know. We need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Lumber, scraps, that sort of thing. How do I get materials? There's plenty of decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to go get at them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored, so don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Right. So I need all these types of things to make the boat better. Clearly. Okay. No problem. We can make the boat as big and as cool as possible. Let's go to the shipwright and make some repairs. Your ship's... Your boat's looking a little banged up. I can repair that if you'd like. Uh, yes, I would like. Uh, let's enter repair mode. Fix this. Excellent. 
And I'm wondering if I need another engine to go to that propeller. That seems about right, doesn't it? I don't know. Do I need to move that over there, maybe? Hard to say. Oh, exit repair mode. Alright, so... If I got this engine, can I attach it to this? It doesn't seem to say that. It just seems to say that this is good to go. Or am I just imagining things? <sighs> I don't know. Actually, what I do know is, is we're out of time for the day. So this was the first 30 of Dredge. And if you like what you see, I'll leave you a link in the description below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. But if you're a regular here, welcome back. Either way, check out my other playlists and see if my other interests may be of interest to you. I'm going to admit to you, I recorded this on the day I'm about to release it, which means I'm falling behind. So until next episode, we will see you later.